I take out the music. Also hear thundering and raining. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. Oh, there. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Why the heck it sounds so weird? This headset. So weird. I don't hear anything in the background. Damn, it won't let you... Away from Sicily. Across the ocean. To start a new life. In America. You don't hear anybody in the background. I don't know why. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American dream was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me the bag. Stop! I'll shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? <clears throat> Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? Eh? All right, Scaletta. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poter giocare con noi? Are you reload? 
On me. Why is he aiming? Get up here, Scaletta. It's gonna be difficult for me to use weapons. Prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Oh, uh, it's not. Oh, X. I keep forgetting. <coughs> oh, shit. Uccidete right gli ostaggi! Let me see. Can I go over here? This way. Come on. Oh shit! I'm gonna get these fucking lines! Get the fuck! Just keep shooting! What the hell's it look like I'm doing? Dude, let's go! 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 let us go Shit! This balcony isn't gonna work! We gotta keep moving! Get inside! You guys have enough yet? Get inside, Scaletta! You're gonna die out there! Uh, 
dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Cacetto, un congè quando si amareta come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovesse ascoltare i consigli di noiazzi del posto. Ce rendiamo. Sapete che potete fedarsi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Mira la vese. Oh no, it's in somewhere there. And Sophie. Chapter 2 already. Home sweet home. Two years later, Emperor Fe February 1945. I forgot to check the option, see why we can't hear anything in the background. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> there it is. Empire. Let me see something. the radio Empire Bay I don't know why he won't come out Empire Bay tell the truth you miss it hey there's a bear shit in the woods not like this place ever done me any favors but anything's better than a foxhole it's with this shitty weather you're saying this is the coldest winter on record papers say it's gonna keep oh, up like this for weeks this. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Switch Come on. The, the last drink we had see. together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. <sighs> really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> And then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Salud. Chin down. How come you're back? 
They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> yeah, what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Oh, uh, now what's going on? Great. Don't tell me it froze. Yep, it froze.